Welcome, Kieran. Thanks for joining me. Thanks very much, James. Uh, nice to see you. Um, as we as we usually do with these things, we'll start with a quick intro to yourself and who you represent, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. So uh, my name is uh, Kieran Dance, and uh, I represent the uh, C Network. Uh, so C Network UK. Okay, and uh, so. As it stands, it's, it's a network of DMCs, as I understand it. That, that is, it's a new new project. Is it, is it born out of the out of what's happened over the last sort of year to eighteen months? Sure. So a, a little bit more about me. Uh, maybe um, I've been uh, working as a DMC, if you want to call it, uh, for um, twenty something years. Um, I started off in Germany uh, and was based in Germany until. Uh, 2012, where I came back over to the UK to head up a, uh, a DNC in the UK for a large uh, global network. And um, I guess during the course of, of my whole time working um, uh, as a DMC and also working very closely uh, with uh, the UK and American uh, agency market, um, you know, I saw certain things happening in terms of how agencies perceive a DMC. Uh, and how that relationship uh, was progressing or, or not progressing. And um, so I sat down with uh, uh, an agency client and, uh, and we had a conversation about um, what are agencies looking for in, in terms of a DMC. And, um, and so a, a couple of things came up uh, uh, that basically were the birthplace really of, of the idea of, of, of the C network um, and the C network really um, is, is trying to be a local agent for agencies um, on site but what we want to do is we want to change the the old uh, way that the agencies and DMCs have, have been working together um, in a very positive way and that is improved trust uh, improved transparency um, and uh, and do things slightly differently to, to how they've been done before. Um, so so that's sort of a little bit about me. I, I, I've been doing this uh, a long time um, and over in Germany, but also back in, in the UK. And um, so now, basically, I, at the end of 2018, um, I left the larger global organisation and... Uh, uh, formed uh, C uh, Networks UK, uh, along with my other colleagues as well, uh, around the whole of uh, the rest of Europe. And, and those colleagues have come into the C Network because they, they think uh, in a like-minded uh, way uh, in terms of how they see um, uh, our business. And uh, I guess what we're trying to do is, is to be the extended arm of, of our clients, uh, and try to be involved um, in the whole uh, event a lot earlier than we might well have been. Um, because I think the way that DMCs have been seen or DMC networks have been seen in the past is a little bit of, of oh, they can organize a, a transfer or, or, or a restaurant for me uh, because we're going to deal with, with, with everything else. And, um, uh, and I guess there's a question of trust in that as well. Um, and uh, and actually, we're capable of so much more. You know, um, as I said, I've 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 been doing this for over twenty years, and uh, my colleagues around the Euro uh, the rest of Europe uh, uh, have also. Been, you know, we're, we're racking up quite a few years, uh, <laughs> probably a couple of hundred years uh, um, of experience in that. Um, and uh, and so we wanted to be of more help to uh, uh, our clients and agencies. Um, and be involved in pitches, for example, in a much earlier phase than, than might be uh, the case. I think that's so right. I, think I mean, the whole, the whole dynamic between agencies and DMCs, obviously with us being a relatively new agency, sort of five years young, there's, there's, we've already got a sort of some rumblings in terms of, there, there, it almost seems like a generation's worth of uh, issues that would take up a completely different interview itself. Um, so we, we won't go there today, but I mean, from, from our perspective at agency, I totally understand both sides of the fence. So from the DMCs that we, we work with as well, I totally get why you don't want to just see as boots on the ground transportation, because why would you? That's not going to be particularly exciting for you, not particularly lucrative either. So the idea of getting 
a DMC involved with us, with our pictures of our clients earlier on, it, it, it is a benefit. And I think, I think creativity comes to part of it. I think from our experience with, with DMCs, there's more of a kind of package box. Here's what everybody does. Here's what everybody likes. Let's just stick to that. And that could be just them. It could be something that work that does actually work well for what they've done. It could be something that, again, again could be quite lucrative for them. But yeah, I think the idea of getting involved and being creative and working with the agency and the client to produce something, I think that definitely would spark an interest with us in particular as an agency, but it could only benefit, couldn't it really? Yeah, I mean, uh, you're totally right. I mean, creativity and, 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 and actually asking the DMC to be creative. Um, creativity is not something you can just switch on uh, or switch off. A great idea doesn't happen with a flick of a switch. Um, it, it's far more of a dialogue and a conversation and a communication. And um, if we're involved in that communication and that dialogue, then we can input at a far earlier stage. And, you know, my experience is that, that when I have engaged with, with clients at a far earlier uh, uh, stage, uh, the results have been, you know, phenomenal in terms of the kind of stuff that we can actually produce at the end of the, uh, of the day. But, but it's more than that. It's, it's, it's our local knowledge can really feed in uh, um, at an earlier period uh, as well. I was um, involved in a client uh, conversation um, not very long ago for, for uh, uh, an event uh, in London um, in August this year. And the client inv invited me in to the end client uh, um, Zoom meeting. And so I was actually able to, to, to input some really valuable local knowledge that, that meant that they changed the event really from a very early stage where whereas i think in in, in traditional ways that, that that agencies and dmcs have worked um you know we might not have been in, involved in that uh, uh situation until much further down the road and then then it would have been back to the drawing board and changed something so so you know we we can really provide local knowledge um uh, at a very early stage uh, uh in the planning process that can save everyone uh, a lot of time and effort um, and and it's about transparency, but it's also about trust. Yeah. So I think what we're trying to do is is, is be very frank and open and, and transparent with people um, uh, on many different levels. So you know we we have a lot of skills uh, um, out there, not not least our local uh, know how. But that know how extends, for example, at the moment, you know, very very current to you know what are what are the latest COVID. Uh, or health and safety procedures going on at the moment. Um, uh, uh, and, and it extends you know, right beyond that towards you know, what are the tax regulations? Because you know, there are uniform uh, European uh, tax regulations uh, specifically towards uh, the handling of VAT, uh, but, but every country actually handles, handles it or interprets it slightly differently. And um, for example, uh, a colleague of mine was on a, a was, was, was putting on an event all the way around Germany. And um, Germany is structured as a federal state. So the federal states have got different procedures in different states. But, but actually in Germany, uh, we have five offices uh, uh, part of the, the C network. And so, and, and more actually. Um, so, so we have, you know, local knowledge of exactly what those federal uh, um, requirements are. But, but tax procedures, for example, uh, are, are a really important thing. It can save everybody money. Um, so, so, you know, I think the, the earlier that we're involved, the, the, the better it can be because in terms of the structuring of, of events. So that's essentially what we're trying to, to get out there with, with the C network uh, in terms of, of, of a transparent, open um, uh, network of, of professionals that uh, can provide sort of central sourcing uh, for you, and also for as far as the UK is concerned, um, um, a centralised uh, contact through me uh, as an introduction to to my colleagues. Um, but it works vice versa uh, around the whole whole of Europe uh, uh, as well. I think I think local knowledge obviously it can only be a benefit, and it sort of sort of there are certain things that can happen and regulations particularly moving forward that that, that sort of we're just not going to know about I, i'm i'm particularly interested sort of moving forward we, we've been a great advocate to sort of 
because we're an agency, obviously, but we're, we're pushing towards clients to sort of say the usefulness of an agency because there's so much going on now in terms, of, like you say, rules and regulations within the UK, let alone beyond that, you know, it's, it's a lot to take on. So the more you get, and, and likewise with us, I think there's an area there that we need to start relying more and the trust has to be there more with our DMCs in terms of how much we rely on them. Like you say, we, we, we should need more from our DMCs anyway, but particularly now. And it's very interesting because I think there is there is an opportunity moving forward in terms of getting DMCs and the relationship in there with the client at an earlier stage. The only issue we're, we're going to find, which is going to be quite interesting, is that lead times are, uh, are going to be shorter than ever. So, again, I suppose DMCs will be coming in at an earlier stage because there's only one stage and that's it. It's sort of start, go. <laughs> exactly. I, I always say that, that you know, if, if, if time's of the essence, actually, get us in earlier uh, uh, so that we can get the job done uh, quicker uh, but but it's as i said before it's it's a dialogue it's a communication um uh in terms of of developing and creating uh uh, uh something special um and you know we've got all of the, the the local tools to do that um and we've, we've got an arsenal of, uh, of 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 weapons that we can use uh to to make something happen and i guess you know what we we really enjoy is is listening to what the client is actually trying to do uh, and then that's where we can get creative in terms of what tools, what weapons can we use to, to create that something special? What backdrop can we provide to, uh, for a, whatever event it is? What kind of communication it is? Um, all events, I think, are, are, are a form of communication. And, uh, and, and I think we're, we're the, the champions of finding the right backdrop and, uh, and the right venues and uh, and, and places locally to to make that happen in situ. Do you think that potentially that may be where certain things have gone wrong in the past in terms of DMCs haven't had that opportunity to, to get in and be creative? It's more of a case of agencies or corporates have gone straight into the DMC and said, this is basically what we want. So therefore, your hands are tired effectively. And it's kind of, that's why almost there's almost that kind of fault or reputation that DMC will just give you that kind of, this is our box package because that's what always happens. Is that maybe that could be sort of the way why people think the DMCs are just just that? Yeah, I mean, uh, how, how did that all happen? You know, how, how did uh, I think the sort of cutoff between trust uh, between agency and DMC sort of happen? I mean, uh, I, I've seen various debate, debates about it over the last couple of years and in various different forums. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not really sure how that happened, but I think it's all to do with trust and. Um, you know, we're, we're very happy to be very transparent with you in terms of, uh, of costs uh, and so on, in terms of the way that we work. Um, if, if that helps to, to, to build trust um, uh, moving forward. But, you know, there are a lot of, of, of things where we can really make everything better, but we, we can only do it together. Um, I saw um, an event where, where um, we were talking about sort of emergency protocols and uh, safety procedures. Um, and um, an agency was, was, was talking and uh, they were talking about a country and a, a destination where there were some terror attacks. And they mentioned how the DMC, um, there was a cutoff between their procedures and the DMC. And um, they made some quite dismissive remarks. And I went up to them afterwards and I said, look, do you know, um, when did you actually involve the DMC with all of your procedures? Um, because if you had done that from the very beginning, then actually you wouldn't be making those remarks. And in fact, actually, what you would have is, is a far more homogenous uh, uh, um, approach to, to emergency procedures. Those are important things uh, in terms of you know, providing events. Um, and, and I guess just another example of, of, of how, you know, involving us earlier is, is, is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, but. But I think you know the relationship needs needs rebuilding in a certain sense, um, and you know we're there to 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 try and break down those barriers again and, and rebuild trust um, in a in a very transparent way. Um, so I guess that starts with dialogue, and, and we're there to listen. Yeah, I, I guess I guess again, it's, it's it's seeing a DMC as part of your team. Um, rather than a scapegoat you know if, 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 a, if a problem happens at an event a client's going to blame the agency the agency's going to blame the dmc and everybody sort of at the end of the day it's just a bad event <laughs> you're all to blame so you know the, the the more you can work as a team all the way through it like you say if situations do happen you're probably going to be more reactive and responsive to deal with it as well which again can only benefit yes 
exactly. Um, you know, the, the, uh, you're right. I mean, uh, I guess in the past, the buck has always stopped here. Uh, so whatever <laughs> happens, <laughs> uh, 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 that feedback tends to land at our door uh, most of the time. And, and some of the times it, it's, well, you know, a lot of the time uh, it's not always warranted. And, um, mm. and again, you know, what, what we're looking to do is, is, is build relationships uh, uh, in terms of corporations uh, and partnerships um, to, to change that uh, and um, to, to make, it, uh, make it more enjoyable for everybody to, to actually um, produce events all the way around Europe, um, wherever you want to go. And, um, but, but also when you do that, to, to feel comfortable, comfortable uh, in the idea that you've got uh, a, a network of, of professionals um, across the whole of Europe who will speak the same language as you in terms of understanding, you know, how your financials work. Uh, they'll help you and guide you in terms of, of, of tax VAT uh, optimization. Um, and, and hopefully in terms of creativity, in terms of creating and delivering uh, something really special and magic, which is after all what we're all about. Absolutely. And- you know, without going into too much depth in terms of the VAT and taxes and things like that. But again, another, another thing that's going to be very prominent with the uh, Brexit and where we are or who knows where we are with that after the last 18 months. I'm assuming we're still there with it. But again, that's going to that's going to take more fruition and more importance as we get back to doing events again, um, particularly as you do it. So in terms of in terms of a network itself, obviously, from a UK perspective, we can come to you as a, as a focal point within the UK. But where, where is the network? Where can reach? Is it across the whole of Europe or is it certain destinations? Sure. So, I mean, we're, we're in Germany, we're uh, in Scandinavia, uh, uh, we're in uh, Switzerland, uh, Spain, um, uh, the Netherlands um, are our core destinations, uh, at the, Austria, sorry, uh, at the moment as well. So we cover not only sort of uh, Central Europe, but, but also uh, Southern Europe uh, in terms of Spain and, and, and Portugal as well. So pretty much the core destinations within, within Europe as it stands. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, and uh, is there any room to, are you looking to expand? Is that the goal to expand eventually? Or? Certainly. Yes, absolutely. Uh, um, but, but, you know, this is not expansion. You know, I think we've all, all of us have actually been part of larger uh, global organisations. And it's, you know, we're not about uh, expanding for uh, the sake of expansion, uh, uh, but, but only with like-minded uh, uh, colleagues who, who we know and trust. Um, and uh, who have the same mindset uh, that we do, that, that, that they don't want to just sit back and, uh, and, and as I said before, you know, put the transfer in a restaurant, it, that, that they actually want to, to, to really sort of engage uh, and be part of uh, the success of the, of, of, of the events uh, and, and our industry as a whole. So I guess it comes again back to partnerships, so partnerships not only with agencies, but partnerships within the network of DMCs as well. Yes, yes, exactly. But, uh, you know, we, we, we know quite a lot of people uh, uh, around the whole of Europe uh, in our time. Um, we've done quite a few things. So, um, yes, I think we're, we're in a really great place. Uh, I think it's we're hoping to be a bit of a breath of fresh air for um, DMC networks. And, um, and as I said, you know, the core essence of this is really uh, to try and get in into people's heads and mindsets that, that engage with us, engage with us as early as possible um, for, for an open, frank, transparent uh, uh, conversation um, where we can help you as little or, or, or as much as you like. I, I, I just think personally from our, from our perspective and from my own per personal perspective, it's great to see something new sort of come out of this uh, uh, and a fresh approach, I guess. Um, and like I say, it can only be of benefit to, to sort of work closer and, and better with your DMCs um, and, and the creativity side is great. Um, and as I say, I, it's it's going to be key, I think, moving forward. Like I say, the, the, the lead times are going to be shorter. People are going to want to go more. Um, clients are going to rely heavily, even more so on agencies and agencies likewise were on DMC. So to be able to build that that early doors now, as we're starting to gradually, hopefully come through the haze of, of, of the last 18 months, why not start by building your relationships now um, if you haven't already done so and, and, and sort of start on a fresh foot as we've come out of this? Exactly. Um, yeah, that's exactly how we see it as well. Perfect. 
Well, is there anything else you want to add? But from my mind, it's been absolutely fascinating. It's been great just to talk through the whole relationship and, and what you guys are, go, uh, are trying to achieve. So, Thanks very much. No, it's great. Great talking to you, James, and to speak to you soon, I hope. Brilliant. Okay. Thanks for your time. All right. Cheers.